Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey and welcome to Weekly Tips, where we're putting some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, and we're going to be painting a pug's head. So let's bark on into this and paint this pug's head. So I start out with a good drawing. Now this drawing I did in a previous video, last week's video of drawing a pug's head. So go check that video out. Um, I basically delve into drawing the pug's head. I draw it at different angles. Um, and then, you know, I draw this interesting pose here. Uh, which is quite cool. I, I quite enjoyed this pose. Um, and then from here, you know, I do kind of a tonal study. You can do a three tonal study, and I do recommend doing a three tonal study where you just use three basic tones, white, black, and gray. That's it. No more. Um, and, you know, it can be very helpful. It just jots down the basic idea of where the highlights are, where the dark tones are, and where's your basic um, tone all over. And it can be really helpful to do. Yeah, just to basically jot it down quickly and understand, um, you know, the tones of what you're drawing, this, this pug's head. Um, it can be very challenging because you're only using three tones as well. Um, however, it does break it down um, for you. And then from there, you can do a full tonal study. Now, you know, I don't really do a three tonal study, and, you know, I could have. Um, I guess I kind of, but my my black wasn't as dark. Um, and, you know, I had whites in there and greys. Um, but I went more, a little bit more tonal than that. Um, but however, you know, I've stayed a little, a little bit in... Um, you know, I push forward with the tones anyway. Um, and once I got a good grasp of the tones, now you could really bring it out and make sure that things are working, like your folds are working, um, your mouth is working, all those, all those bits that, um, the pug has, as well as, you know, the fur as well, um, here. Which you see me um, kind of painting. And as you can see, you know, I'm not kind of painting every stroke. I'm just kind of um, jotting down quickly some little little strokes, some little first strokes. Um, and then in, in, as I go further into the painting, some smaller strokes and finer, refine it from there. Um, you know, <laughs> build it up as I go. And as well as doing the other parts of the, the head, um, I build up the, the, the parts, the, the eyes a little bit, um, the wrinkles, trying to get the folds in as well, um, trying to push them back and, and forth, um, as well as fixing up the tones, you know, using the colour. Because sometimes um, I do find that... Um, just a little bit more easier for me. Um, sometimes when I when I go into color that the tone fix ups, I can understand them a little bit better. Sometimes the black and white, um, I still kind of understand them. Um, <laughs> but when I add color on top, um, it kind of breaks it. Sometimes like the, my uh, color might be too dark in a certain area. Uh, so you know. It's good for me the way I do it. Um, but if you need to, I would take a, a little bit more time to do some tonal studies. And, you know, if I was to take this further, if I was to really, you know, paint this um, at a better level, I guess, or, you know, um, want to take this further or make this way better, I would, you know, <laughs> do another one, I'd do a full tonal study, um, just in black and white, 
um, and try and get it as accurate as I can and then I would you know do the color from there because understanding the tones is really um, really important and what can it's what can bring out um, your animal your your pug the best so yeah um, yeah, we would like to see the color. Um, I think that's what it is more. I do enjoy seeing the color, which is always fun to do. But yeah, understanding those tones um, does really help. Um, you slowly see me like add in fur marks and um, fix uh, the drawing up as well um, as I go forth. There might be certain patches or things that I expand and and change as I slowly paint. Um, you know, this painting a kind of set in stone. There's still room for improvement um, if I need to. It's not the the perfect painting in the world, and that's always kind of a good set to have. You know, you, it's never going to be final. It's um, kind of loose and ready to be able to be changed if you spot something that needs fixing um, yeah awesome so yeah I see I'm doing a little bit of greys here adding in the different hue shifts that are happening um, within the fur itself and the different patches there are and slowly just fixing up little details that um, I might have missed in the drawing um, that I'm fixing up in the painting. Um, now, you know, you want to try and minimalize those mistakes as much as you can with the two previous stages, which is the, the drawing stage and the tonal stage. Um, the best drawing you can do will, um, you know, make this whole process, the painting process, much more e easier. Then um, have, having a bad drawing because if you have a bad drawing you have a bad tonal study of um, what you're drawing the, the pug here it will not uh, look any good and you won't have room for improvement um, as much pain as you want on it you can put as much pain as you want on it and it still you know won't turn out too great so make sure that those initial stages are looking good um, and if you are struggling with those stages um, you know understand your forms do the um, do the different angles first um, understand you know what goes into drawing this pug a little bit more the shapes the forms the folds um, maybe you know go into those delve into those little things like drawing folds drain fur um, and shading a little bit more um, delve into those little weaknesses you might have um, is sometimes you have to tackle them you know with a certain aspect like uh, for instance here you know I'm dealing with fur I'm dealing with shading and the folds um, sometimes you do have to tackle them um, as you apply them to things and it does really help, you know, understanding folds um, while painting some sort of certain folds rather than just, um, you know, just drawing folds, um, say, in a rendered square or something like that. You know, actually applying it to a certain thing like a pug here um, does really help. It expands um, your knowledge and things. And, you know, here I feel like some of my painting is lacking as well, you know, the tongue possibly um it is a little bit um off in the color i guess but um i think you know some of the tones might be off as well a little bit um and just trying to um understand the the nose as well uh, the lighting in the nose um which i slowly slowly you can see me adding in some more lights and highlights and um, bringing back some of that lighting but I still feel like it does need a little bit of work there 
Um, so noticing those things that uh, you need to improve on is always important to keeping a note on, on that. Um, it's great too. <laughs> Just uh, looking at your painting and seeing the points you can improve to bring it to the next um, pug painting you might do or, or, or dog painting you might do. Um, yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing me paint this pug. Um, it was fun and I did enjoy it. I have done a few dogs and cats in the past. You know, I started out drawing um, with some of my drawings I did in the past. I draw my pets and my cats. I've got those drawings and I always enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, feel free to let me know down below if you enjoy um you know, painting pugs, if you have paint any other pets or dogs or animals, let me know down below um, and what you thought about this video, you know, I'd love to know as well. Thanks for tuning in, keep drawing, keep creating, and see you in the next video.